How's it going, guys, girls, and movie pals? I'm Alice from Wonder Woman, your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and something absolutely hilarious has happened. Let me tell you the story about how a random transphobe on Twitter helped me to go viral. I just had to make a quick video to laugh about this with you. We begin with a story. The story of a woman who I presume to be American, who is probably misinformed, uneducated, and delusional due to whatever the f chemicals they have in the air over there. And now she's on Reddit browsing r slash trans, right? And she's paying very close attention to the genitals of every person she sees on the page. Just, you know, like a normal person does. This is a totally normal thing for people to do is just, you know, stare at other people's genitals. Everyone does that. Isn't everyone obsessed with genitals? I know I am. But the real reason this person is browsing r slash trans is a little bit more sinister because you see this person happens to run a Twitter account called Bella Lucy B on which she ridicules trans people. But boy oh boy was she about to pick the wrong target tonight. Because she got stuck on this image. And due to what I imagine to be very little sex education, she somehow thought that this shadow on this trans woman was an erect penis. This trans woman was of course me. Yours truly. Little post-surgery me. Thinking she had discovered the perfect target for her Twitter account, she got to work writing a caption, and she posted it on the internet. And 24 hours later, it had 3 million views. Now before we get any further into this video, consider sharing it so that I could maybe go viral again. Now I was sitting at home minding my own business, alright? I'm a very busy gal. Between YouTube and my full-time job, I work about 70 hours a week. And for an example, I am shooting this video at 8pm on a Tuesday night after a full day's work. You know, I'm dedicated to make you laugh. But this past weekend on Sunday, I thought, and I shit you not, for the first time in two years, it. This Sunday, I am gonna rest for a minute and I'm just gonna spend the entire day playing video games. Just kind of relax a little bit for once. I go about my thing, I'm playing my favorite video game, The Long Dark. But then my phone buzzes. And then it buzzes again. I check my Reddit, I check my Instagram, I check my Discord, and I'm getting a lot of messages from my followers saying that I'm the target of a transphobe and that their post on Twitter has gotten millions of upvotes. My heart sinks, but I decide to do nothing, you know? Don't poke the wasp's nest, what's the point? I don't want a bunch of transphobes brigading my YouTube channel anyway. So I play my video game a little bit more and a couple of hours later my phone buzzes again. But this time it's my friend Nikki, who you may know as Planner Walk, and she's telling me Oh my god, you got Cloudy's attention. I don't even have Twitter, so I didn't know who Cloudy was, but apparently that's actually not that small of a deal, because she has 300,000 followers. But more importantly, her clapback to the transphobe supporting me had 13,000 likes. Where the f*** did that come from? And so finally I decided to take a look at what's going on, because I still had no idea at this point. I swallow my pride, and I download the Twitter app, navigate to the link, and I see this! <laughs> what?! What are you talking about?! Oh my god! So she's... What I see is a screenshot of my Reddit post and some Twitter account saying How many women get boners when they try on a swimsuit? You know, just wondering. Now you all know, I have had bottom surgery. I got my penis chopped off! There is no cock there. I surrendered my ability to manhandle the ham candle. So what's happened here is that this complete moron, this daft punk, this absolute microcosm of all things inconsequential in life has taken a look at my photo, zoomed in, seen nothing, and in some sort of insane delirium, imagined a penis there. An erect penis, and then tried to roast me on her imaginary penis. This just unleashed the most gloriously stupid take that the world has ever fucking seen. And she did it on a public forum and now she is paying the price and it is glorious. Three million views, right? Oh, don't worry, it's only got 800 likes. The first response on her post is this and it has 16,000. Get ratio. Ladies and gentle people, I have never seen a ratio like this. This is an explosion of humiliation, the likes of which the world has never seen before. The level at which this post has backfired is excruciating and brutal, but most importantly, delicious. I am living off of this right now. This has made my week. 
I have never laughed at something this much in my life. How far did you manage to zoom in before you busted a nut, you freak? <laughs> Stop announcing that you fetishize trans people. It is glorious. This smackdown is humiliating. It is devastating. I've never seen the likes of it before. And I'm just gonna reiterate this, all right? Her post has three million views and 800 likes, but the first response underneath it has 16,000. That is a ratio of 20 times, and somehow I am wound up in the middle of a controversy. I had no idea. I was just playing video games. And people are telling me that I'm beautiful and it's a cool swimsuit and Cloudy and Planet Walker are linking my YouTube channel. All of this happened while I was playing The Long Dark. And it took me like eight hours to actually respond to this. It's just amazing. And to add insult to injury, the only people in her comments section actually agreeing with her are transphobes coping at the highest level. Look at this, basically saying, I've never seen a woman happy to try on a swimsuit. Women are never happy to try on clothing. It's miserable. And basically all of their comments are just saying that to be a woman you have to be miserable. And that is just a sad, sad take. Anyway, all of this happened while I was playing The Long Dark and it took me until, you know, I'd reached a good save point before I could respond. But this was a golden opportunity, you see, and I wish I'd noticed sooner. I had already gained like 30 to 50 subscribers on my YouTube channel because of Cloudy's post, but where others might laugh, I saw a beautiful possibility. I made my own Twitter just to respond, and I typed out my own little clap back to this absolute moron. Hey everyone, this is me in the photo. I'm beautiful and happy, and I just made a Twitter account to respond. Just wanted to say that I've had surgery, so I'm not really sure what this daft moron is commenting on. Stick for looking for dick in alleyways like you normally do, please. <laughs> so stupid. The only thing these transphobes have to defend is the stupid assumption that being a woman has to be miserable, the other assumption that that shadow is somehow a penis, in which case I have the largest penis the world has ever seen. And the third idea that they have is that euphoria as a literary term is somehow confined to sexual contexts, which it's not. Euphoria is just an emotion. So they're just completely confused. Anyway, before I go any further, I just want to preface this by saying that having a penis does not make you any less of a woman, okay? I just happened to not have a penis and it made a hilarious circumstance with which to clap back to a Twitter transfer. This isn't political, I'm just clowning on a loser here. I'd also like to say thank you to my friend Nikki, also known as Planet Walk, and to Cloudy for, you know, sticking up for me and saying lovely things about me while I wasn't actually on the platform. And thank you so much to everyone else who did as well, there were f***ing so many nice comments de defending me. So. I've received an absurd amount of support from this. It's, it's frankly mind blowing. But what I did next is what made this absolutely perfect because I came up with a scheme, a brilliant scheme. One that would completely seal the deal on this whole situation. I screenshotted and knitted together my responses and the next day I posted it all over Reddit. On r slash trans, on r slash me IRLGBT, on r slash trans, on r slash white people Twitter and on r slash clever comebacks. Only three of them took off. The other three I deleted, and I was left with my posts on r slash white people Twitter, on r slash clever comebacks, and on r slash trash. And over the next 24 hours, we got to watch even more people clown on this insane transphobe for their narrow minded comment. 8,000 upvotes, 4,000 upvotes, another 8,000 upvotes. And the best part, I sneakily hinted at my YouTube channel in the comments, and it got thousands of upvotes, and BOOM! I got like six to seven hundred subscribers overnight and it took me over the 10,000 subscriber mark. Would you believe it? This is not how I expected to get there. So to summarize, a transphobe stealing my photo and attempting to ridicule me on Twitter actually ended up helping me to gain six to seven hundred subscribers. The absolute irony of this. She wanted to hurt me, but she helped me. Thanks for making me go viral, bitch. That is what I'm talking about. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome aboard. I hope you stay. I hope you fall in love with me and form some sort of parasocial relationship in which you might be tempted to spend $50,000 commissioning an animation of me 
mill but I have 10,000 subscribers now, which is so exciting, and because of promises I made in older videos, I now have to get dressed up in a maid outfit and go buy alcohol. That was my 10,000 subscriber forfeit, yeah. So that's gonna be one hell of a special episode. Stay tuned. I'm not scared. I'm a little bit scared. Anyway, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. It means a lot to me. Here's to many more. Now, I don't feel bad about all this, okay? What this Twitter account does is absolutely appalling. Stealing posts from vulnerable people who post their progress to a private community of like-minded individuals, their ups and downs, their peaks, their lowest moments, and then thoughtlessly, remorselessly ridiculing them online behind their backs is absolutely pathetic. It is a cowardly act and they should be absolutely ashamed. She got absolutely wrecked this time because she made a stupid comment and because frankly I'm kind of hard to criticize. But there are other poor trans folk that she has targeted in the past that I really hurt for. So f her. Now to be clear, I don't condone any sort of threats of violence or encouraging of things like, you know, saying go K yourself. That's not cool. Please don't ever do that regardless of whose side you're on and who you're arguing with, that's not okay. It's also not okay to misgender her. For some reason I saw a lot of people, especially on my Reddit posts, just assuming this is a guy and saying, calling calling her he, which strikes me as a little bit of a low of the stoop, you know? Don't do that, that's not cool. That said, and ignoring these comments, this person got what they deserved. That's right, motherfucker. Suck my d Check out my Buy Me A Coffee, link in the description if you're thinking of supporting my channel. I'm also considering opening memberships on my channel, let me know if that's something you would be interested in. And make sure to share this video absolutely everywhere. Let's make me go viral again, come on, let's do it! Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz, I will see you on Sunday.